All right. This is a new live feed. Something happened with the camera there earlier. So I figured it'd just be easier to start again. Once again, happy Thursday morning, everyone. We're up in Area 3 at <clears throat> Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. <clears throat> Gorgeous morning here. Absolutely zero clouds out here in the sky right now. The Gulf is really flat again, nice and calm. Be a great morning to see some dolphins come swimming along the shore. We're about four hours away from high tide. I'm just making my way up to area four to check some check on some shells. I see one of our park rangers up here. I don't know if he's checking a nest. Maybe we had a hatching. My friend Mike is out here fishing already. We'll check in with Mike on the way back, see if he caught anything, see how the fishing is. He just got here. Bit of a haze out there right now on the horizon. It's really hard. You can just see that line on the horizon. Getting any action out there? Nope, not even seeing anything. I saw something jump up here. Yeah. I'll check with you on the way back. I don't want to talk to you. You jinxed my camera this morning. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So here's one of these old tree stumps that Mike's talking about that are out here in the water, out in area three. And they're all just offshore, right out here. And all the little fish love hiding around, swimming around in them. One of these days we're gonna get the underwater camera and he's gonna get some footage of them for us. Very calm and peaceful morning out here today. Very quiet. That's one of our rangers just checking on the nest, seeing if there was any activity, any hatchings or anything. They'll just go up and down. Inspecting every nest, taking notes. A little sandcastle somebody left for us on the beach. Well, good, no, good news about our friend Roy. He's getting discharged today, getting released from the hospital, sent to rehab. He'll be in rehab for a week or two, but that's wonderful. He's excited to get out of there. That's awesome news about Roy. Keep those prayers coming. They're definitely working. Definitely working. Well, there's, I'm still seeing some dead fish washing up on the beach here, sadly. There's a couple. A couple catfish right down here. There's another one just up to the right of me. So that means that red tide is still out there. It might not be right along the shore here, but it's definitely still out in the Gulf. But at least we can breathe at the beach and that water's a lot cleaner. Now today, 
the wind is supposed to turn and start coming in from the west, from the Gulf. And that's not good. That's what brings the red tide up to shore. So let's hope that it's far enough out that it doesn't make it back to our beaches again. That's all we need. To the north of us, they're still dealing with it. Up in the Fort Myers area, Sanibel, Sarasota. They've got their hands full with all kinds of problems. It's terrible what's going on with the water up there with those Lake o, the Lake Okeechobee releases. Oh man, gosh darn it, looks like raccoons got in another nest over here. I hate seeing that. Checking out the little shells here. See a little tiny cockle. Nice, pretty little baby cockle shell. Those are so cool. The little baby cockles. But unfortunately, it looks like the raccoons invaded another nest here. Those son of a guns. Oh, how sad. That's number 33. Oh. What a shame. What a shame. That was a raccoon, nobody, even there's some, a little shovel there, that's very ironic, but that looks like the doings of the raccoons and they got into these eggs. Darn it, and that's number 33, another one destroyed by these blasted raccoons. Darn. That is such a sad sight to see. Mother Nature, the circle of life. Another dead catfish here on the beach. Wait for that sun to pop out. There's a little white ibis up here. I haven't seen any ibis in a while. There's one walking around on the beach right there. A white ibis. Looking for a snack, looking for some breakfast. Usually you see flocks of those walking up and down the beach. The white ibis with their big orange beaks. They have beautiful, beautiful bright blue eyes when the sun hits them just right. Just amazing the color of their eyes. There's that nest up there that the darn raccoons got into. Turtle nest number 33. What a shame. Now let's keep walking up the beach, keeping an eye open for some shells, maybe some dolphins swimming offshore. <clears throat> They're always fun to see.
a look around here. No clouds, absolutely no clouds in the sky yet this morning. There's a little kitten paw shell. Both sides, a whole little kitten paw. Those are fun to collect. Kitten paw shell. This is a whole one. Lots of little shells down here. You gotta stop and look close. This is where you find some real little gems. Another nice little kitten paw. You can see the tide's slowly starting to come in here. tip, tip of a worm shell, a wormy tip. Let's move it. Let's move up the beach a little further north. We're in area four now. Water's still looking pretty nice, pretty darn clear here, thankfully. Let's hope that wind doesn't shift and blow that red tide back on us. Well, there's one of our slipper shells. I always like showing everybody a slipper shell once or twice or three times. There's a little one over there. A little slipper shell. And most of you watching have seen those before. The slipper shell. So you flip it over and it looks like a little slipper. Lots of kittens paws out here. Lots of, oh, there's another whole kittens paw shell. Got both sides of it. A little kittens paw. Very cool. There's another common shell, the mossy ark. 
There's two different size mossy arcs right there. Very common, the mossy arc. Anything down here. What do we got washing up on the beach here? Another nice little cockle shell. Some little slipper shells, clam shells, some old oyster shells down here. There's an old oyster. Lots of little slipper shells down here. There's a little tiny piece of worm rock. Got lots of worm rock around. There's got a couple nice little worm tubes there. Worm rock, that's a little tiny piece of worm rock. Tons of slipper shells out here this morning. I mean, they're all over the place, the slippers. There's a little bigger kitten's paw. There's slipper shell there, there, there. There's a big slipper shell there. They're all over the place this morning. If you're into slipper shells, they're everywhere. A lot of little shells right down here in the water too. Stick to the beach here, see what we find. We walk, slowly walk north here. Wow. <clears throat> there is quite a few shells here this morning, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. Now we're getting a little sunlight on them. <clears throat> That's great. A little easier to see when there's sunlight hitting these. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got frog in my throat here. Oh, do I see a shark eye? I see one looking at me. <clears throat> I see a moon shell down there looking at me. I see a shark eye looking right at me. Might be a nautica, a gaudy nautica. You see it down there? It looks like a really nice looking shell. There we go. Beautiful. All right. These are always fun to find. Fun little shells. Sometimes you can find some pretty good size ones. All right. What's next? How about a whelk or a murex? Or a crown conch would even be better. Another dead fish over there. I've seen several dead catfish on the beach this morning. <clears throat> Just a sad reminder that the red tide's still lurking out there in the Gulf. And there's another dead catfish over there.
gorgeous morning out here as the sun starts to come up. It's very, very calm out there in the Gulf of Mexico this morning. Really, really flat. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything else on this little sandbar. Nothing's catching my eye. I'm not saying there's not some interesting shells here. I'm just not spotting them. Is looking north into area four. That's where our buddy Roy, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> That's where our friend Roy sits, right up there under the trees. Sorry about that. And if you haven't heard, Roy is being discharged, getting released from the hospital today, He's getting moved to physical therapy. He's gonna be in physical therapy for a few days. Ooh, a moon shell buried in the sand here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right as I said, Roy, I looked down and there it was, but it's missing the eye. The eye is poked out. <laughs> I've never seen that before. But right as I said, Roy, Roy's name, I looked down and that was at my feet. That's pretty cool. But it's missing its little dark eye. That's wild. I've never seen that. See, there's there's one with the eye, and the other one's missing its little eye in the center. That's weird. That's got the eye on the left, and the one on the right's missing the little eye. Never seen that. Still no clouds showing up here. A cloudless morning in Southwest Florida, down in Naples. Naples, Florida. Looks like a broken moon shell down here. Oh, yep. Just a piece of one. Boy, that one's got a really nice eye on it though. That would have been a great little specimen there. You can see the inside of it. I wonder if there's any more buried in the sand here. There are so many shells out here. It's just a matter of luck when you find something. Gorgeous there, looking down to the south. Oh boy, there's a piece of a beautiful lightning whelk down here. What was once a beautiful lightning whelk. That's kind of neat, the way you can look inside of it. So what's left of a lightning whelk. Is that another shark guy down here? A nautica shell? 
Yeah, that's a good size one. It's got a big crack. It's lost all its color. Well, that's a good size one right there. Good size old moon shell. Wow. That lightning whelk was gorgeous, huh? Too bad it wasn't in one piece. Too bad it wasn't a whole shell. It is in one piece, but it's not a whole shell. The lightning whelks, they're beautiful. Well, maybe we'll find one a little further up the beach as we walk along here. I'm gonna leave this broken guy out in the water for somebody else to find. <clears throat> There's a very old, very old crown conch, a little one. That's a little baby crown conch, very old. It's lost all its color. It's starting to fossilize, actually. That's a little crown conch. Okay, be sure to hit that share button. Get some more people on here. It's pretty calm out here right now. Very, very slight breeze blowing here. But absolutely no clouds. No clouds yet in the sky. As far as I can see around me, no clouds. Look at that. This blue sky. There's a little baby Florida fighting conch shell. These are always fun to find. A little baby Florida fighting conch. These fighting conchs are fairly common on the beaches here of Southwest Florida. But as with all shells, always make sure there's nothing inside a shell before you pick it up and put it in your pocket and take it home. Make sure there's no living animal inside. Even if there's not a conch, there could be a could be a horseshoe crab, a horseshoe, a hermit crab in there, or some kind of snail. You never know. Always check before you take them home. Another little worm shell. We usually find quite a few of these little worm tips on the beach, the tips of the worm shell. I thought I saw one down here a minute ago. It was kind of wild looking. Now I lost it. Happens all the time. You look down, you look up, and you look back down, you can't find what you thought you saw. It's crazy. Where was that thing? Oh well. We're probably about four hours away from high tide is what I'm guessing here. <clears throat> so eventually all these shells will be underwater that we're looking at. And the tide will pull them out and bring something new up onto the beach. It's amazing.
Well, unfortunately, I have seen a few dead fish along the beach, and actually, I saw one floating out in the water. Just an ugly reminder that that red tide is still out there, still lurking out in the Gulf. Even though the water's cleared up tremendously here, it's still out there. It's just not right along the shore here in North Naples. Oh, there's the, looks like the top, the very top of an alphabet cone shell. That's just the very top of an alphabet cone. Kind of looks like a turban. <laughs> That's the top of an alphabet cone shell. We found one of those a few days ago out here. An alphabet. Right now there's a great little line of shells in the water. That is a great place to look, right along this little ridge line here. I'm just sticking to the beach right now, up on dry land. So it's left of a whelk over here. Old worn out lightning whelk. It's lost pretty much all of its color. There's another one, a little lightning whelk down here. What's left of one? Not much left of that one. An old fighting conch shell down here. It's worn smooth. Look at that, how smooth this old fighting, this Florida fighting conch is. Completely worn down, faded out. There's another one down there, a smaller one. Same condition. Worn smooth. Very popular shells though, the fighting conchs on our beaches here. Very quiet here this morning. I've seen a handful of people out here. I saw Fisherman Mike earlier. <clears throat> Excuse me, we'll check with him on the way back, see if he's caught anything.
Nothing's catching my eye down here. A lot of seagrass, seaweed, seagrass washing up on the beach. Lots of little shells down here, but just I'm not spotting anything right away here. Like anything out of the norm. Pretty soon these shells are all going to be underwater and then the waves are going to pull them out back into the gulf and bring something new back up here. There are lots, I've been seeing a lot of these mossy arcs out here this morning. These mossy arcs. This is a turkey wing. And that turkey wing. Two turkey wings. Ooh. These two turkey wing shells. I just saw spotted something else really nice, a little one. But that's a turkey wing. Don't want the waves to take it away. Hopefully it's a whole one. A little baby crown conch. Look at that. That's a really nice little specimen of a baby crown conch. Hey Kelly, good morning. See you on my way back. All right. Beautiful little crown conch. Nice find. One of my favorite shells, the crown conks. Here's a little tiny baby apple murex shell. A little tiny baby apple murex. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> A lot of people just walk right by these shells. They never even see them. That's a little baby apple murex. Another one of my favorites. The moon shells, the whelks, the murex shells, the tulip shells. I'd love to find a nice little banded tulip shell. It's another of my favorites. There's another turkey wing shell. I'll show you that again. I kind of dropped it abruptly because I saw that crown conch and I didn't want the waves to get it away, take it away from me there. But there's another little turkey wing. into the area up in area four where our buddy sits where Roy would normally be sitting listen closely and close your eyes maybe you'll hear him 
playing the harmonica. A little baby lightning whelk. All baby shells this morning, a little baby lightning whelk. Beautiful little pink scallop shell down here. Beautiful little pink scallop. Wow, look at this. Not much, it's hard to see, but that's the top of a little teeny tiny baby moon shell. Just the very top of it. Wow. Lots of kittens paws out here. You could fill a bag with these. Lots and lots of kitten paws out here. Rinse the sand off them before I put them in my pocket. I saw something and I took my eye off it for a second and now I can't find it. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Part of a nutmeg shell maybe? Part of a crown conch? I really can't tell what that was. But it's amazing all the little shells you find here. You know, granted, I would like to find some nice big ones, too, but the little ones are always nice. If you look behind me here, look in the water here. There's just tons of shells caught up here in this little ridge. Wow, who knows what all's out there? Who knows what's here in the water? This is where the shark's teeth get caught up all along places like this. Our friend Bill, he doesn't do any digging, but if he did, boy, he'd probably be in heaven here. Who knows what's buried in here? turns out here on the sandbar you know what I'm gonna cut over to the sandbar real quick before all the birds come see if there's anything out here of interest besides bird poop <laughs> Darn dead fish, a dead catfish out here. Just this little sandbar is just offshore of Area 4 Beach. Every once in a while we get lucky and find something really cool out here. There's 
Looks like an old, part of an old whelk shell, an old lightning whelk out here. There's a neat piece of finger coral over here. That's a neat looking piece of coral. That's finger coral. That's a very cool looking piece of coral. cockle shells out here. Nice little cockle shell. There's looking back. There's Fisherman Mike making his way up the beach. You're back. Can hear the helicopter, one of the mosquito helicopters flying up the beach here. Flying overhead of me, actually. He's way up there. He's not low, spraying. Flying by. There's a fighting conch shell. Pretty nice one down here. Pretty nice Florida fighting conch right here. That's a pretty nice looking shell right there. Nope, oh, I see a whelk, I see a moon shell. Let's see what kind of condition this whelk's in. Pretty good shape. Pretty good shape for that whelk right there, lightning whelk. It's got a chip in it there. Nice look at a lightning whelk. You'll see the stripes on it. There's a little broken moon shell upside down. Another moon shell. We found a couple of these this morning. Those are cool. The whelk in the moon shell. Another, another piece of a whelk over here. I've seen some big pieces of whelks out here too, big old broken whelks. There's just a part of a whelk. Well, Mike hasn't had any luck fishing. No luck, it hasn't caught anything. Boy, another piece of a whelk. I've seen so many broken whelk shells. So many broken lightning whelks out here. There's a look back at Area four, that's where Roy hangs out, right underneath those trees there. Back up in there, right
right up in there is where Audrey's bench is. He's happy. He's getting released today from the hospital, getting sent down to sent into physical therapy. He'll be in there for a week or so. He's excited about getting out of the hospital. But he doesn't know what's in store for him yet at physical therapy. <laughs> They're not usually easy on you. They push you to the limits. Still no clouds out here this morning. Cloudless, beautiful. Nice little cockle shell just rolling around in the waves here. The little tiny waves. That's looking south down towards Naples. Naples proper. Lo and behold. Now see, I just walked by here. This is, this is, I just walked right along here. And how I say you don't see things when you're looking down, no matter how hard you're looking. Well, I missed one of my favorite shells. Thank goodness I came back for a second look. A beautiful, beautiful banded tulip shell. Look at that. One of my favorites. A beautiful banded tulip. And I walked right by it the first time. Just goes to show, no matter who you are, you're going to miss them. That is a beautiful shell. This is one of my favorites, the banded tulips. This and the crown conch. This is an excellent specimen of a banded tulip. Kind of a small one. It's got a little chip in it right there, but great coloration. Great look at a banded tulip shell. A, a few little chips along the edge, but uh, it's definitely a keeper in, for my collection. Wonder what else I missed. <laughs> You just never know. Another broken whelk shell was underneath an oyster shell, part of a whelk. That was hiding under an oyster shell. <laughs> part of a lightning whelk. Our next low tide, I think it's around 5.30 tonight. Might be a really good time to come out and check out some of these sandbars out here. Just be respectful if the birds are sitting out here. Please don't come out on the sandbars and chase the birds away. head back to shore walk a little further up the beach and head back down to where I came in and call it a morning just gonna cut across here anywhere here is a good spot to cut across it's really shallow and this there's like this little area here between the beach and the sandbar and it 
it's full of shells all the time. It's a great place to come out looking for shells. Look at that, is that not gorgeous? Look at that water. Roy's Beach right here, area four. Looking good, looking really good. Lots and lots of shells out here in the water. Still lots of great little shells along the shore. We'll walk up a little further north before turning around. Maybe we'll find that last little beauty. Yep, another old, sh old moon shell on the beach, piece of an old moon shell. seen our dolphins swim by yet this morning. wonder if they're up at Wiggins Pass playing. wonder if they're up there chasing fish around in Wiggins Pass. Bothering all the fishermen. Sad to see, but still more fish washing up on the beach. Still seeing signs of red tide. All right, here you go. This is where Roy would be. I'd be chatting with Roy right here. Right here, right up there is where Audrey's bench is. This is where we'd be having our morning chat. I'm sure, if you close your eyes, you'll hear him sitting here with his harmonica. Hear him playing his harmonica. Miss you, Roy. Can't wait for you to be back out here. But getting better is the most important thing right now for him. Staying off the beach for a while. There's that helicopter overhead again, one of the mosquito control helicopters. Nice little lightning whelk down here, I believe. Yeah, looks like a great little, great little whelk. Let me wash the sand off it. Nice, nice little lightning whelk. Great little find. A beautiful little lightning whelk shell. haven't come across any big shells this morning. A couple little gems, a couple little treasures. It's about as far as I think I'm gonna go this morning. I'm gonna just go up to this little bend up here. It's our friend Kelly. 
making her way back down the beach. Oh, how you doing, Kelly? I'm good. Good, good. I came down because I watched the news this morning and it said it was high red tide here. It's better than it was yesterday. Yeah. I mean, I think um, what they're talking about is that the wind might is going to change. Hopefully, it doesn't blow it back in here. But that's going to suck if it comes back. I know. It was looking. It was getting really nice. Yeah. Yesterday was a little foggy, but. I wiped out on my paddleboard. You wiped out. <laughs> my friend Julie says, where was Rob to video? Yeah, you? really? Like, no one was here. I was, <laughs> I was way out there, and there was a manatee out there. I was oh, so really? I to see him, and I wasn't paying attention. Wow. I could dive right in. That's always good to see manatees. Mm -hmm. That's a good sign, seeing the manatees out there. Very nice. several dolphins came to you. Oh, sweet. It's so calm out there. I would, now I wish I would have brought my board in. Yeah. Right. So Roy's getting released out of the hospital today, going to rehab. Going to rehab. Yep, for probably a couple of weeks. I can imagine. Yeah. Has he been up walking or? He, uh, briefly. I mean, he's gotten out of bed and went like across the hall. <laughs> That's about right. it. That's gonna but, make him so weak. Yep. He's. I mean, he's really tired. He, he was dozing off when I was seeing him yesterday. But uh, um, he'll be back. I'm, so, I'm sure he'll be back. Yep, he'll be back. I've, I've, I've been hanging a shelf for him every morning. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Closest tree to a spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kelly, have a good one. Roy is loved by so many people. It is just amazing. And it's people that have discovered him through Facebook here. I mean, it's just amazing how many people know Roy now through Facebook. He is dearly missed right now. But all of your prayers are working, so keep them coming. Well, I got to turn around and start heading back. See what we missed on the way up here now that the sun's starting to pop out. Praying, not only praying for Roy, we're praying that the red tide doesn't come back. We have, the winds are gonna change direction and be coming in off the gulf. That's what blows the red tide in from the gulf. So let's pray that that doesn't happen. We've had enough red tide for this year already. Peaceful morning. Take a quick walk up and check on Audrey's bench. Up here in area four. Just not the same looking down the beach here and not seeing Roy sitting here. He will be back though, thankfully. It's not quite Roy's time. Well, here's his late wife's Audrey, Audrey's bench that he had placed here. So nice, somebody's put some shells on it for Audrey and Roy both. How sweet. That poem that Roy wrote for their wedding day. 
Isn't that sweet? A time of love, a time of prayer, a time to tell we really care, a time to dance, a time to sing, a time to hear the heavens ring, a time to leave the outworn way, a blessed time, a newborn day, a time for comradeship and friends, a time, a time that never ends. That is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Audrey. I know Audrey's keeping an eye on Roy too. Thank you, Audrey. She knows it's not time for Roy to come home just quite yet. Look at that. Two little doves right down here by the bench. See them? Two little morning doves running around. I wonder who that is. One of them is probably Audrey. <laughs> Love it. Love the sounds out here. The gentle lapping of the waves, the birds calling out. Nice little worm shell, little worm tip. Well, we found some neat little shells this morning. Not big ones, but some nice little ones, that's for sure. A couple moon shells, whelk shells, little banded tulip shell, little baby crown conch. Found some great little stuff this morning. That breeze is starting to kick in. Feels good. It's gonna be another hot one today, 91 degrees. So you to see a big olive shell here, yeah. It's a nice size olive shell. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. If you're enjoying these beach walks, do hit the share button. Little lightning whelk. Piece of a little lightning whelk. A little old lightning whelk shell down there. I'm 
I'm so hoping this red tide doesn't come back and ruin our beaches again. Things were really starting to look up. That sky though, no clouds out here today. Absolutely nothing. Clear blue sky all the way around. I'm sure that's gonna change later today. But look at it right now. Wow. All the way around, nothing. No clouds in the sky. See you later, Kelly. Have a great day. Walking along here thinking about our friend Roy. Just enjoying the sounds of the beach. You can hear an osprey in one of these pine trees falling out. Up in one of these pines. Well, here's some really good news. Look at this. This is a brand new nest, brand new sea turtle nest, number 60. Not in the best spot, a very precarious spot up here on the beach, but sea turtle nest number 60. Awesome, awesome news. 60 nests. Gotta love it. Got to love it. I'm gonna take a quick photo, bear with me. So nice to know that these sea turtles are still nesting. Although this is not a good spot for a nest. <laughs> it is way, way, way too close to the water. Look at that. That's nest number 60. We have definitely broken the record here. Definitely broken the record with 60 nests. 58 was our previous record here at Del Norwegans. Now we have 60. Awesome. 60 loggerhead sea turtle nests at Del Norwegans. Let's hope those pesky raccoons stay out of that one, please. Great news. Great, great news. I don't know when she came ashore. You can still see some of the crawl tracks here. She might have come up last night. Was not much of a crawl, that's for sure. Not much of a crawl up to that nest. Just 
taking a couple quick photos. Well, that's great news, nest number 60. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's get some more. Keep heading back down south here. Almost back to where I started this morning. Looks like our friend Mike, Fisherman Mike, has left already. No, he wasn't catching anything. He said the fishing wasn't any good. morning well, it's nice to see people out here enjoying the beach but there are not many people out here that red tide has definitely scared them away we're just praying that it doesn't come back and do what it did a couple weeks ago, or a week ago huh. They say that wind is going to shift today, and there's a good chance it's going to blow back on shore. Oh, horrible. Horrible, that red tide. Absolutely horrible. It's a nice little turkey wing shell down here. Little turkey wing. If you never saw a turkey wing, most of you have by now. One of my favorite little shells. Little turkey wing shell. So lots of little conks on the beach, all different sizes, all different conditions this morning. Lots of little baby ones. It's a pretty nice beach walk this morning, don't you think? Very peaceful. Not quite the same without having our friend Roy here. Sadly, we're seeing, sadly, some fish, dead fish on the beach again. A reminder that that red tide is still lurking around out there. Sad, sad, sad. This is area three we're in right now. This is where you gotta look up in these trees and a lot of times you'll spot some ospreys up there. They just hang out in the tops of those trees, looking out into the water, watching for some fish to swim by. All of a sudden they'll take off and you'll see them dive down in the water and come up with the fish in their talons. It's pretty amazing to watch that. Beautiful birds, the ospreys. We got a pretty good look at one. Oh, I don't know what day that was, Tuesday. In part from the second beach walk, the second video I did on Tuesday. We got a good look at an osprey. Oh, Mike's still here. He's out snorkeling. He's just coming up out of the water. See if he saw any life. Any signs of life out here offshore of the beach in Area 3? 
Back in the old, old, old days, the beach used to actually be out there. There's all kinds of tree stumps out in there, old tree stumps under the water, and the little fish are use them to hide in. It's kind of neat. Even the fish are getting, are getting scared. Really? Nothing out there this morning? I mean, there's a few, but nothing like... Nothing like a couple days ago, yeah. huh? And you can see the, the water's... Cl I mean, Is it getting a little cloudier? You can see the fish, but you can hardly make them out. Really? Yeah. Well, that's not good. Nope. Well, and, I mean, you can tell it's back. I mean, all the dead... Catfish. Well, it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely out there. I mean, yeah. it never went away out in the Gulf. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's not too far offshore, that's for sure. But hopefully it just doesn't come in like it did the last time. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Terrible. I, yeah, this is, I mean, it's so disappointing that, you know, one, you get two days, yep. you get excited, and then, yep. boom. And... Uh, it could be worse. We could be up the, the beach a little further. Nope. Oh, it's terrible up there. Yeah. I don't know, have you seen it up there? Have you no, gone anywhere no, to? No, no, I, I haven't even been down to Area 5. Really? No. It was nice the other day up there. Yeah. It was beautiful. But I mean, well now, this morning was my first sign of bait fish. Really? And catchable size, you know, one you can put uh -huh. in the net. Otherwise, there hasn't been any bait fish. Really? Uh, Monday, the water was full of fries. You know, just hatched. Right. I mean, it, it made the water cloudy. Like a cloud, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it don't take them long to grow, but th these are catchable size. Right? Oh, boy. But, well, uh, let's just keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we want that wind from the east. <laughs> yes, we do. You know. That's for sure. Fish, yeah. fish bite the least, but we still want the wind from the east. For right now, we do. That's, a, yeah, that's the truth. exactly. All right. Well, have a good one, Mike. Yep, yep. and we're planning on going to see Roy this weekend. All right, he where he be. lands. Yeah. I, I'm really happy that he's getting some some physical therapy. Oh, he has to. He can't even walk right now. No, I, well, because he's been in, what, two weeks in bed? A yeah. week. It was, yeah. it was a week today. Really? When he collapsed on the beach, yep. But, yeah, I mean, it doesn't take long oh, when no. you're that age. No, no, you got, don't use it. You lose it. I mean, that's legs, why, legs why like he's... Him. That's why he, he's in the shape he is because yeah. he walks every day yeah but uh yeah well, he'll be he'll be back here oh sooner than later he's too stubborn for he says anything he, else. he says he's going to be very careful now out at the beach so well, we'll see yeah <laughs> i told him you had a surprise for him when he got out here. yeah oh you're gonna like it too <laughs> you're gonna like it yeah all right guys all right. well have a good day Rob. all right take it easy yep. see you later yep oh how's mary doing She's doing uh, actually very well. Uh, she's you know walking with a cane, but like around the house, she doesn't use a cane. On September 11th, she's getting her rotator cuff. Oh no! She tore three out of the four of those muscles when she fell. Oh boy! But she has she can't walk with a cane because that's the right. arm that, that sure. she uses that the makes cane. Sense. Hey, let me show everybody that mask you got there real quick. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this that's is like, called the Easy Breathe. Easy Breathe. It's got the, the snorkel built right into yep. it. It goes just, right over your head. It's the most relaxing thing you can you can do. I mean, it's like being in an aquarium when you put that yep. on. Look at that. That is so cool. And you can breathe through your mouth, through your nose. You relax your jaw yep. instead of biting down. Some, on some people have a hard time breathing with a the snorkel. They just well, don't, yeah, can't do it. This, I, I'm one of these people that every once in a while I like to take a nice deep breath. Uh huh. You can do it with this. You and know. go under, and it's got a ball in it, so oh, the yeah, water yeah. doesn't. Yeah, a little. Yeah, it, they're so not made for free diving. You know, uh, there was an article out maybe beginning of the summer uh -huh. about people dying in Hawaii with these. Really? Well, they found out that they're free diving. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, when you free dive, you go down. When you come back up, you come back up and take a deep breath, and you go back down. Well, you're not, you're not given enough time to the I got air you. to exchange. We're, we're, we're doing, yeah. it's always exchanging fresh yeah. air. So and you it, really can't go underwater at all? Oh, no, that? you can. But just. But you can't free dive. Like they were free dive. Like they were down, going yeah. down, uh, oh. you know, 20, 30 feet right. or lo longer. Come back, take a breath and go back down. Well, 
one breath will not exchange the right. carbon monoxide. Right. So. Uh, Interesting. But for this, what we're, we're here, doing yeah. here. They 20 are, feet. There's no water 20 feet deep around this beach. No. <laughs> You've got to go out 20 miles. Yeah. <laughs> that's a heck of a swim. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks but, for sharing. Uh, yeah, well, give once Mary. This all clears up, yep. and we'll get your goat and the fish are around. We'll get your there you go. You get some great shots. Perfect. Sounds good. All right. Have a good one, give Rob. Mary my best. Right, Thanks. Well, thank you. Yep. Fisherman Mike. Not a good fishing day today. Said the water is actually starting to look a little cloudy. He was out there snorkeling. Not a good sign. Although Mary, uh, Mary Kelly said she saw a manatee. Yesterday, when she was out here paddle boarding with some dolphins, it's always a good sign to see the manatees and dolphins. And we got a new turtle nest on the beach. Nest number 60. I don't know if there's any more down south. I think 60 is the most we have right now. And that's the most we've ever had on this beach. 60 sea turtle nests. The previous record was 59 or 58. Now we have 60. So let's hope those babies make it. Sadly, we saw another nest, sea turtle nest this morning that the raccoons invaded. Hopefully I didn't dig out all of the eggs. Oh, such a horrible sight to see that. Here I am down in area two. This is where I started this morning. I came down this ramp here. The north end of area two. And like I said, we are seeing some dead fish on the beach, so we know the red tide is still out there, that's for sure. Sad, sad. Ugh. Let's keep our fingers crossed we don't go through it again. Let me give you one more quick look around before signing off. I don't know when I'm going to be back out here again. Maybe sometime over the weekend. Big event this weekend hands across the water down by the Naples Pier. Check out that event. I believe it's from 11 to noon. Check it out. Hands across the water. Come out. Show your support for clean water. We've had enough of these Lake O discharges now. Hands across the water. Show your support for that this Sunday at the Naples Pier. Everybody's going to hold hands and make a human chain along the beach. And we're hoping that it goes on for miles and miles and miles and miles. Every little beach town is doing it. So come out and show your support for clean water. Let's show these politicians that we're fed up with this nonsense. And it's time to take that money from Big Sugar and put it to good use and get our water clean again. Beautiful, though. Beautiful, clear blue skies this morning. I want to thank everybody for watching. Have a wonderful Thursday. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're going to find something you like. I love coming out here. Remember, this is something I do out of love. Nobody pays me. If you want to make a little contribution, it always comes in handy. It helps pay the phone bill. Without a phone, I wouldn't be doing these beach walks. You can find my PayPal info in the description of this post a little later. But in the meantime, have a wonderful, wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.